Hello again and welcome to the Larry Shiat Show. It's great to have you along and this is all presented by Union Wireless. Well, it's a big week for the Cowboys. Uh, one right here at home and then one on the road as the Cowboys hosted one of the top teams in the conference, certainly New Mexico Lobos, and then went to Boise State to take on the Boise State Broncos. And uh, boy, both were just outstanding games, Coach. Tight, close, and Cowboys picked up the win in Boise. But it started with a, a midweek game right here on this floor against the Lobos, and they're a pretty good basketball team, but the Cowboys really gave them all they wanted in that game. Very physical game, Dave. Uh, they are the largest team in the league, both with experience, size, and weight and strength. Uh, thought our guys battled to the end. I thought it was a great game, uh, except for those last 10 seconds, but uh, certainly a great crowd on hand. And, you know, we, we've got a tough draw, those first three games on the road, two of them, Nevada and Boise and New Mexico at home, but I really thought our players, all three games, stood the test, stood tall. Uh, we didn't get the victories we had hoped to get, but the New Mexico game was a strong, strong indication we can compete with the very best. Absolutely. Cowboys took the Lobos to overtime before losing. Then it, uh, it was on the road for the Pokes. Let's go to Boise State, a team that was picked to finish second in the Mountain West Conference. New Mexico was picked first in the preseason polls. But here you are at Boise State, and I thought this was, uh, boy, the Cowboys needed a win in the worst way. And they got one, an important victory for the Cowboys. Well, they're really good at home. 88 points a game. We held them to 50, which really the tempo and the pace of the game was to our liking. We got a few breaks when we needed it, but they didn't, and that was important. Uh, and I'll tell you what, synonymous with what's going on in the rest of the country, you got Boise, who's a terrific team, one and two. You got New Mexico that goes to the last possession with us and San Jose. San Diego State, perhaps nationally the best in our conference, has a one point win, Boise, and a two point win or a three point win at Air Force. And you know, who'd have ever thought in my old ACC days that Duke would be one and two and Carolina 0 oh and three? It's that kind of a year in conference play. It really is. We're seeing a lot of a lot of balance in the Mountain West Conference. It's kind of on on any given night with this league, isn't it? Well, ours has been a pattern of consistency. I mean, at this point in the season, we played almost half the year. Nobody has at this point been able to break up higher than a 61 62 point game and i think if we can keep that resiliency on defense we can stay the course all year this team's getting better this team is a work in progress and most of all i'm excited because this team's back next year well it has been steady improvement for the cowboys that's for sure now stay with us we're going to take a look at our play of the week that's coming up next Pulls up for a 10-footer. Good! Good! With 1.3 seconds left. Smartphones. Your connection to the world. The possibilities are unlimited, and your plan should be too. With Unlimited Cube from Union Wireless, get talk, text, and high-speed data without limits only from Union Wireless. Welcome back everybody. This is our student athlete segment. We always have a lot of fun with this. We've got Wyoming super freshman Trey Washington the third with us today and Trey I guess number one question is where did the third come from? Well my grandfather was named Thomas Washington and my dad is named Thomas Washington Jr. so I was Thomas Washington the third so that's where I kind of got the nickname Trey from. So what's the family call you? Trey. Well my mom when she gets mad calls me Thomas <laughs> but other than that it's Trey. Well uh, we're very happy to have you here at the university and uh, you've had an excellent start to your career here. I know it's an adjustment, no question about it. Uh, not only coming from Dallas and the weather and all that kind of thing, college, uh, but on the court as well. What's been the biggest uh, adjustment for you on the hardwood? Um, I would have to say um, 
I guess, playing time. I mean, that kind of affects your play time to time, but you just have to fight through because in you know, high school you were the guy and the ball was in your hands most of the time. And in college you have to adjust to being one of the guys and a role player and just doing whatever like you can do to get on the floor. Now, when you've been uh, in games and you've had some excellent games so far this season, uh, the level of play, how different is it? Uh, it's very different. I mean, it's a lot faster. It's more uh, possession for, uh, by possession. You know what I'm saying? Every possession counts, whether if it's a uh, score or a turnover, it's going to affect you like late in the game. You appear to have really adjusted to the climate, to uh, college. Uh, has it been tough to budget time uh, between uh, your school and, and, and basketball? I mean, I, uh, not so much just because they have pretty much everything scheduled out for you. So you have a time where you have study hall and you have a time you have to, a time for practice. And then your, your downtime is just like time to talk to your family, I guess get some extra reading and study and work out, you know. But pretty much time is pretty on the schedule for you. Has the family been up? yet to see a game and are there plans for that? Uh, yeah, they came to the exhibition game to start the season. And I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to come up for the Fresno State game because I have an old teammate that goes to Fresno State that, play, that plays a lot for them actually as a freshman. So, Of course, the Cowboys had a great victory the other night on the road. That was uh, terrific. Uh, yes. So much fun. Yes. Uh, now you've got a week here to kind of uh, get your legs back and, and uh, get school started. Uh, how does the team feel now going into Saturday's game with San Jose? Um, pretty confident. I mean, this week will be will be very needed for those guys that have played major minutes to recover, and uh, we have a, a longer time to actually look at San Jose and really scout them. So it's, it's a good game. If there's one thing that you want to really learn and, and, and get familiar with in your first year here, what would it be? Um that I would really like to learn is just staying positive, just just really having a positive outlook on everything, like not to get down, just know that the future is bright. Well, it certainly is bright for you, and we're all looking forward to it, Trey. It, uh, it'll be a great career for you, and we're happy you're a Wyoming Cowboy. Thank you, sir. All right, Trey Washington the third. Dave will be right back with a scouting report on San Jose State. When you book at FlyFrontier.com, you get great stuff. Like exclusive fares, more miles. A free carry-on. You even get to pick your seat. And everyone likes to pick their seat. I know I do. Once I picked my seat right smack dab in the middle of... Stop! Stop. Grizz, we're talking about picking your seat on the plane. Wait, you pick your seat on the plane? Now that's disgusting! Get more perks, lower fees, and a free carry-on. Book today at FlyFrontier.com. Welcome back to the Larry Shiat Show, presented by Union Wireless. Well, next up for the Cowboys, the San Jose State Spartans, right here on this floor, Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Who better to get info on the opponent than assistant coach Jeremy Shiat? Uh, also, you have the scout, I know, on San Jose State, coach. But uh, what about the Spartans? We, know, we, you know, we don't know a lot about them. They're, they're a new member in the league. Uh, Cowboys haven't played them since 97, back in the old expanded Western Athletic Conference days, but what about now? What about this Spartan team? What can we expect to see from them? Well, Dave, to tell you the truth, they actually resemble a little bit of the team we just played, Boise State. In fact, their head coach is in his first year. Coach Wojcik came from Boise last year as an assistant. Uh, so they'll do a lot of the same things that Boise kind of prides themselves on. They're, they're very, very good uh, in transition offense. They're an offensive-minded team, and they are one of the top five teams in the nation shooting three-pointers. Uh, like Boise, they'll play four guards in their starting lineup with, with a big guy. So I think that uh, one key for sure for the Cowboys is going to be defending the three-point line in transition and in the half court. 
What about pace of the game, and what do they like to do defensively? Is it a lot like Boise State, I would assume? You know, Boise really got after us as far as uh, guarding us on the perimeter. I think that's what made it a physical game, especially from the guard standpoint. Uh, San Jose, to tell you the truth, they really like to protect the paint. In fact, at times, you know, I'm sure they're going to be guarding Riley close to the three-point line, but at times, all five guys can have a foot in the paint. They try to sprint back, but, you know, again, because they're only playing one big guy inside, they kind of want to protect him and they want to sag off as much as possible. Uh, should be quite a game. I know a big game for the Cowboys at home against the San Jose State Spartans. Thanks so much for the scouting report. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Dave. That is assistant coach Jeremy Shiat. That's all we need to know about the San Jose State Spartans, except this. They'll be right here on this floor Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock to tap time. The Spartans and the Cowboys right here in the AA. Well, stay with us. We have more to come right after this. And welcome back to the Larry Shiat Show, presented by Union Wireless. Well, it's an interesting week for the Cowboys. Uh, first of all, classes are back in session, Coach. The campus is alive again, so the Cowboys are in class this week. And kind of nice that you don't have a midweek game this, this week, not until Saturday afternoon, and it's right here on this floor against San Jose State. Players are probably not so happy. Coach is very happy. We like the practice. They like the games. But it's an important week. They get their feet wet back in the classroom. We get a chance to work on a couple things about the Cowboys Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday we're off and it's back to the grind because we'll be in a routine every three days for the next seven weeks. Yeah, yeah. nice having that game right here. It's always nice to play at home. Uh, it's kind of been a home road, home road so far. It's our turn here in the AA. And it'll be great to have the students back. Hopefully we'll have a whale of a crowd and we can show San Jose what it's all about in the AA. Well, you bet. That game will tip off at 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. The Cowboys and the San Jose State Spartans right here in the AA. We'll come back next time and we'll take a look at the highlights on the next Larry Shiat Show, all presented by Union Wireless. We'll see you next time. For the coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.